Have you ever felt like there's more to life than what you can see? Like there are hidden forces shaping your world? Well, you're not alone. Many of us walk through life feeling like we're missing something important. But what if I told you that there are 12 spiritual laws that have been kept secret for centuries? These laws are like the hidden rules of the universe, and they're working in your life right now, whether you know about them or not. Today, we're going to uncover these 12 spiritual laws that have been hidden from you. These aren't just any laws. They're the keys to unlocking your true potential and living a life full of purpose and happiness. By the end of this video, you'll understand these powerful laws and know how to use them to transform your life. Why have these laws been hidden? Well, for a long time, this knowledge was only shared with a select few. It was passed down through secret societies and spiritual teachers. But now, it's time for everyone to know about these laws. Because when you understand how the universe really works, you can start to work with it instead of against it. So, are you ready to discover the secrets that could change everything for you? Let's dive into the first three of these hidden spiritual laws. Our first hidden spiritual law is called the Law of Divine Oneness. This law is the foundation of all the others, so it's super important to understand. The law of divine oneness says that everything in the universe is connected. We're not just separate people living separate lives. We're all part of one big interconnected web of energy. Think about it like this. Have you ever felt someone's mood without them saying a word? Or maybe you've thought about a friend right before they called you? That's the law of divine oneness in action. It's showing you that we're all linked in ways we can't always see. This law means that everything you do affects the world around you. Your thoughts, your actions, even your feelings. They all send ripples out into the universe. It's like throwing a stone into a pond and watching the ripples spread out. Your life touches others in ways you might not even realize. But here's the really cool part. Because we're all connected, the universe is always working to help you. When you're in tune with this law, you start to see signs and opportunities everywhere. It's like the whole world is conspiring to make good things happen for you. So how can you use this law in your everyday life? Start by paying attention to your thoughts and actions. Remember that they're affecting not just you, but everyone and everything around you. Try to spread positivity and kindness, knowing that it will come back to you. And when you need help or guidance, don't be afraid to ask the universe. Trust that because we're all connected, the answer will come to you in some way. Now, let's talk about our second hidden spiritual law, the law of vibration. This law might sound a bit scientific, but it's actually pretty simple. The law of vibration says that everything in the universe is always moving. Even things that look solid, like a rock or a table, are actually made up of tiny particles that are constantly vibrating. But it's not just physical things that vibrate. Your thoughts, feelings, and even your words have their own vibrations too. Have you ever met someone who just seemed to radiate happiness or walked into a room and felt a bad vibe? That's the law of vibration at work. Here's why this law is so important. The vibrations you put out into the world are like magnets. They attract things with similar vibrations back to you. So if you're always thinking negative thoughts and feeling down, 
you're going to attract more negative experiences. But if you can raise your vibration by focusing on positive thoughts and feelings, you'll start to attract more positive things into your life. This law is really powerful because it means you have more control over your life than you might think. You're not just a victim of circumstance. You're actually creating your reality with your vibrations. So how can you use the law of vibration to improve your life? Start by paying attention to how you feel throughout the day. When you notice yourself feeling low or negative, try to shift your focus to something positive. It could be as simple as thinking about something you're grateful for or remembering a happy memory. You can also raise your vibration by doing things that make you feel good. This could be listening to uplifting music, spending time in nature, or doing something kind for someone else. The key is to make feeling good a priority in your life. Remember, your vibration is like a radio signal you're sending out to the universe. Make sure it's tuned to a station you actually want to listen to. Our third hidden spiritual law is the law of action. This law is all about putting your dreams and desires into motion. You see, while the first two laws we talked about are pretty mystical, this one is all about getting things done in the real world. The law of action says that you need to take physical steps to make your dreams come true. It's not enough to just think positive thoughts or feel good vibrations. You've got to roll up your sleeves and do the work too. Think about it like this. If you want to build a house, you can't just sit there and visualize it really hard. You need to draw up plans, gather materials, and start building. The same is true for any goal you have in life. This law is super important because it balances out the other spiritual laws. It reminds us that while the universe is always working to help us, we've got to meet it halfway. We can't just sit back and wait for good things to happen. We need to make them happen. The cool thing about the law of action is that it creates a cycle of positive energy. When you take action towards your goals, you start to see results. Those results make you feel good and raise your vibration, which attracts more positive opportunities. And those opportunities inspire you to take more action. It's like a snowball effect of awesomeness in your life. So how can you apply the law of action in your life? Start by setting clear goals for yourself. What do you want to achieve? Once you know what you want, break that big goal down into smaller, manageable steps. Then, commit to taking at least one small action every day towards your goal. Remember, the action doesn't have to be huge. Maybe you want to write a book. Your daily action could be writing just one paragraph. Or if you want to get fit, your action might be going for a 10-minute walk. The important thing is that you're consistently moving forward. Don't worry if you don't see results right away. The law of action is about trusting the process. Every step you take is bringing you closer to your goals, even if you can't see the finish line yet. One more thing about the law of action. It's not just about doing stuff. It's also about being open to inspiration and following your intuition. Sometimes, the action you need to take might not be obvious. That's when you need to trust your gut and take inspired action. If you feel a strong urge to call an old friend or take a different route to work, follow that feeling. It might lead you to exactly where you need to be. Now let's dive deeper into how these first three laws work together to shape your reality. When you understand how the law of divine oneness, the law of vibration, and the law of action work together, you start to see the world in a whole new way. 
It's like putting on a pair of magic glasses that let you see the hidden forces shaping your life. Let's start with the law of divine oneness. This law reminds us that we're all connected, part of one big universal energy. Now add in the law of vibration. This law tells us that everything is constantly vibrating, including our thoughts and feelings. These vibrations ripple out through the web of oneness, affecting everything and everyone around us. But here's where it gets really interesting. The law of action comes in and says, okay, you're connected to everything and you're sending out vibrations. Now what are you going to do about it? It's the spark that turns your inner world into outer reality. Think about it like this. You wake up one morning feeling really grateful and happy. That's a high vibration you're putting out there. Because of the law of divine oneness, that vibration doesn't just stay inside you. It spreads out and affects the world around you. Maybe you smile at a stranger on the street and they feel a little boost in their day. That's the law of vibration at work. But then the law of action kicks in. You decide to take that good feeling and do something with it. Maybe you finally make that phone call you've been putting off, or you start that project you've been dreaming about. Suddenly, you're not just feeling good, you're making good things happen. And here's the really cool part. Because everything is connected, the actions you take create new vibrations that ripple back to you. It's like you're starting a chain reaction of positivity in your life. Understanding these laws can totally change how you approach your day-to-day -day life. Instead of feeling like life is something that just happens to you, you start to see how you're actively creating your reality all the time. For example, let's say you're looking for a new job. With the law of divine oneness, you understand that the perfect opportunity is already out there, connected to you in some way. The law of vibration reminds you to keep your thoughts and feelings positive, to match the vibration of success and fulfillment. And the law of action pushes you to update your resume, reach out to contacts, and actively search for openings. Or maybe you're trying to improve your relationships. The law of divine oneness shows you that you're connected to everyone in your life in meaningful ways. The law of vibration encourages you to focus on the good qualities of your loved ones, raising the vibration of your relationships. And the law of action motivates you to express your feelings, spend quality time together, and work on resolving conflicts. The beauty of these laws is that they work whether you believe in them or not. They're always operating in the background of your life. But when you become aware of them and start working with them consciously, that's when the magic really happens. So how can you start using these laws more intentionally in your life? Here are some practical tips. Practice mindfulness. Take time each day to quiet your mind and tune into the interconnectedness of all things. This could be through meditation, prayer, or simply sitting quietly in nature. Monitor your vibration. Throughout the day, check in with yourself. How are you feeling? What thoughts are you having? If you notice your vibration dipping, take steps to raise it back up. Take inspired action. Listen to your intuition and act on those gut feelings. Sometimes the smallest actions can lead to the biggest changes. Cultivate gratitude. Gratitude is one of the highest vibrations there is. Make it a habit to appreciate the good things in your life, no matter how small. Spread positivity. Remember that your vibrations affect others. 
Make an effort to spread kindness and positivity wherever you go. Trust the process. Sometimes it might feel like nothing is happening, but trust that your positive vibrations and actions are creating ripples in the universe. Stay open to possibilities. The universe might bring you opportunities in unexpected ways. Stay open and receptive to whatever comes your way. Remember, working with these spiritual laws isn't about being perfect all the time. We all have bad days and negative thoughts sometimes. The key is to be aware of these laws and to make a consistent effort to align with them. As you start to work with these laws more consciously, you might notice some changes in your life. You might find that good opportunities seem to come to you more easily. Or you might feel a greater sense of peace and connection with the world around you. You might even start to see patterns and synchronicities that you never noticed before. But perhaps the biggest change will be in how you see yourself. When you understand these laws, you start to realize just how powerful you really are. You're not just a passive observer of your life. You're an active creator. Every thought you think, every feeling you feel, and every action you take is shaping your reality. This realization can be both exciting and a little scary. It's exciting because it means you have more control over your life than you might have thought, but it can also feel like a big responsibility. After all, if you're creating your reality, then you're also responsible for it, right? But here's the thing. You don't have to do it all alone. Remember the law of divine oneness? It means that you're always connected to the entire universe. There's a whole web of energy supporting you, guiding you, and working in your favor. Your job is simply to align yourself with these laws as best you can. Think of it like you're sailing a boat. You can't control the wind or the waves, but you can adjust your sails to work with them. These spiritual laws are like the winds of the universe. When you learn to work with them, you can go so much further than you ever could on your own. As we wrap up this exploration of the first three hidden spiritual laws, Take a moment to reflect on how they might be showing up in your life right now. Where do you see the interconnectedness of all things? How are your thoughts and feelings vibrating out into the world? What actions are you taking to create the life you want? Remember, understanding these laws is just the first step. The real power comes from applying them in your everyday life. It might take some practice, and you might not get it perfect right away, but that's okay. Every time you make an effort to align with these laws, you're creating positive change in your life and in the world around you. So as you go about your day, keep these laws in mind. Look for ways to connect with others, to raise your vibration, and to take positive action. You might be surprised at how quickly things start to shift when you're working in harmony with the hidden laws of the universe. And this is just the beginning. There are nine more spiritual laws waiting to be uncovered, each with its own powerful insights and life-changing potential. Are you ready to discover them? Stay tuned as we continue to unravel the secrets of the universe and unlock your hidden power. Remember, you are more powerful than you know. You are connected to everything in existence. Your thoughts and feelings are shaping your reality, and your actions have the power to change the world. So go out there and start creating the life you've always dreamed of. The universe is waiting to support you every step of the way. Now let's explore our fourth hidden spiritual law, the law of correspondence. 
This law might sound a bit complicated, but it's actually pretty simple when you break it down. The law of correspondence tells us that our outer world is a reflection of our inner world. In other words, as above, so below, as within, so without. Think of your life as a mirror. What you see happening around you is really just showing you what's going on inside you. If your thoughts and feelings are mostly positive, you'll tend to see and experience more positive things in your life. On the flip side, if you're always worried or angry, you might notice more problems and conflicts popping up. This law is super important because it shows us that if we want to change our lives, we need to start by changing ourselves. It's easy to blame our problems on other people or outside circumstances, but the law of correspondence reminds us that we have more control than we think. Here's a real life example. Let's say you're always running into rude people wherever you go. According to this law, it might be worth looking at how you're feeling inside. Are you feeling frustrated or impatient yourself? You might be surprised to find that when you work on being calmer and kinder to yourself, suddenly the people around you seem nicer too. So how can you use this law to improve your life? Start by paying attention to the patterns you see in your world. Are there certain types of situations or people that keep showing up? These could be clues about what's going on inside you. Then try this. Instead of trying to change the outside world, focus on changing your inner world. If you want more love in your life, practice being more loving to yourself and others. If you want more success, work on feeling successful and confident on the inside. Remember, your outer world will gradually start to match your inner world. Our fifth hidden spiritual law is the law of cause and effect. You might have heard this one before. It's often called karma in some traditions. But don't worry. It's not about punishment or reward. It's simply about understanding that every action leads to a reaction. The law of cause and effect says that everything happening in your life right now is the result of actions you've taken in the past. And the actions you're taking now are creating your future. It's like planting seeds in a garden. The seeds you plant today will grow into the flowers or weeds you'll see tomorrow. This law is really powerful because it puts you in the driver's seat of your life. It shows you that you're not just a victim of circumstance. You're actually creating your reality with every choice you make. Here's an everyday example. Let's say you decide to be extra kind to everyone you meet today. You smile at strangers, help a coworker with a task, and call a friend to check in. According to the law of cause and effect, all of these small actions will come back to you in some way. Maybe not immediately, and maybe not in the way you expect, but that positive energy will return to you. So how can you use this law to create positive change in your life? Start by becoming more aware of your actions and their potential consequences. Before you do or say something, ask yourself, what effect might this have? Is this creating the kind of future I want? Remember, it's not just about big actions. Even your thoughts and attitudes are causes that create effects in your life. So try to cultivate positive thoughts and attitudes as much as you can. And here's a cool thing about this law. You can use it to change patterns in your life. If you don't like what you're experiencing, you can start making different choices now to create different results in the future. It's never too late to plant new seeds. Our sixth hidden spiritual law is the law of compensation. 
this law is all about the rewards we receive for our contributions to the world. It's like the universe's way of saying thank you for the good things you do. The law of compensation says that you'll always be rewarded for your efforts and service. This reward might come in the form of money, but it could also be love, respect, opportunities, or personal growth. The key is that the universe always keeps the books balanced. This law is super important because it encourages us to give our best in everything we do. It reminds us that our efforts are never wasted even if we can't see the results right away. Here's a real-life example. Maybe you volunteer at a local animal shelter. You might not get paid in money, but you might find that you're rewarded with a sense of purpose, new friendships, or even unexpected opportunities that come from the connections you make there. So how can you use the law of compensation in your life? First, focus on giving your best in everything you do, whether it's at work, in your relationships, or in your personal projects, put in your full effort and care. Second, be open to receiving. Sometimes we're so focused on giving that we forget to accept the good things that come our way. Remember, receiving graciously is just as important as giving generously. Lastly, trust in the process. The compensation might not always come in the way or at the time you expect. But if you keep putting good out into the world, good will come back to you. It's a universal law. Now let's dive deeper into how these three laws work together to shape our reality. When we understand how the law of correspondence, the law of cause and effect, and the law of compensation work together, we start to see the beautiful dance between our inner and outer worlds. It's like watching a complex machine where every part works in perfect harmony with the others. Let's start with the law of correspondence. This law tells us that our outer world mirrors our inner world. Now add in the law of cause and effect. This law explains how our thoughts, feelings, and actions create ripples that shape our experiences. Finally, the law of compensation comes in to ensure that we're rewarded for our positive contributions. Think about it like this. You wake up one morning and decide to cultivate more gratitude in your life. That's an inner change, right? According to the law of correspondence, this inner shift will start to be reflected in your outer world. You might begin to notice more things to be grateful for throughout your day. Now, the law of cause and effect kicks in. As you express more gratitude, you're creating causes that will have effects in your life. Maybe you start thanking people more often, or you write thank you notes to people who've helped you. These actions create positive energy that starts to ripple out into the world. And here's where the law of compensation comes into play. As you put more gratitude and positivity into the world, the universe starts to compensate you. You might find that people are kinder to you or that unexpected opportunities start coming your way. It's not because you're directly asking for these things, but because you're aligning yourself with the natural flow of give and take in the universe. Understanding these laws can totally change how you approach your daily life. Instead of feeling like life is happening to you, you start to see how you're co-creating your reality with the universe. For example, let's say you're trying to advance in your career. With the law of correspondence, you understand that your outer success will match your inner confidence and competence. The law of cause and effect reminds you that the efforts you put in now are creating your future success. And the law of compensation assures you that your hard work and dedication will be rewarded even if it's not always in the way you expect. 
or maybe you're working on improving your relationships. The law of correspondence shows you that the quality of your relationships often reflects your relationship with yourself. The law of cause and effect encourages you to be the kind of friend or partner you want to attract. And the law of compensation promises that the love and care you give will come back to you in some form. The beauty of these laws is that they are always working whether we're aware of them or not. But when we become conscious of them and start working with them intentionally, that's when we can really start to shape our lives in powerful ways. So how can you start using these laws more consciously in your life? Here are some practical tips. Self-reflection. Take time each day to check in with yourself. What's going on in your inner world? How might this be reflected in your outer experiences? Mindful choices. Before you act, think about the potential consequences. Are your actions aligned with the kind of life you want to create? Gratitude practice. Make it a habit to appreciate the good things in your life. This aligns you with positive energy and opens you up to receive more. Give freely. Look for ways to contribute positively to the world around you without expecting immediate returns. Trust the process. Remember that the effects of your actions and the compensation for your efforts might not always be immediate or obvious. Have faith in the universal balance. Take responsibility. Instead of blaming others or circumstances for your problems, look for ways you might be contributing to the situation. This empowers you to make changes. Celebrate small wins. Notice and appreciate the ways the universe is compensating you, even if they seem small at first. As you start to work with these spiritual laws more intentionally, you might notice some interesting changes in your life. You might find that you're more aware of the connection between your thoughts and your experiences. You might start to see patterns in how your actions create results in your life. And you might feel a greater sense of trust in the universe's ability to support and reward you. But perhaps the biggest change will be in how you see your role in creating your life. When you understand these laws, you start to realize that you're not just passively experiencing life. You're actively co-creating it with the universe. Every thought you think, every action you take, and every bit of energy you put out into the world is shaping your reality. This realization can be both empowering and a little overwhelming. It's empowering because it means you have more influence over your life than you might have thought. But it can also feel like a big responsibility. After all, if you're co-creating your reality, then you're also accountable for it, right? But here's the thing. You don't have to do it all perfectly all the time. Remember, these laws are always working, even when we're not aware of them. Your job is simply to become more conscious of them and to align yourself with them as best you can. Think of it like you're learning to dance with the universe. At first, you might step on some toes or miss a beat. But as you practice and become more aware of the rhythm, you'll find yourself moving more gracefully and joyfully through life. As we wrap up this exploration of the second set of three hidden spiritual laws, Take a moment to reflect on how they might be showing up in your life right now. Where do you see your inner world being reflected in your outer experiences? How are your past actions creating your present reality? In what ways is the universe compensating you for your efforts? Remember, understanding these laws is just the beginning. The real power comes from applying them in your everyday life. It might take some practice 
and you might not get it perfect right away. But that's okay. Every time you make an effort to align with these laws, you're creating positive change in your life and in the world around you. So as you go about your day, keep these laws in mind. Look for ways to create positive causes, to align your inner and outer worlds, and to give your best to the world. You might be surprised at how quickly things start to shift when you're working in harmony with the hidden laws of the universe. And remember, this is just the halfway point. There are six more spiritual laws waiting to be uncovered, each with its own powerful insights and life-changing potential. Are you ready to discover them? Stay tuned as we continue to unravel the secrets of the universe and unlock your hidden power. You are more powerful than you know. Your inner world is creating your outer reality. Your actions are shaping your future. And the universe is always working to bring balance and reward your efforts. So go out there and start consciously co-creating the life you've always dreamed of. The universe is your partner, ready to dance with you every step of the way. The Law of Non-Resistance Let's dive into our seventh hidden spiritual law, the Law of Non-Resistance. This law might sound a bit strange at first, but it's actually a powerful tool for navigating life's challenges. The Law of Non-Resistance tells us that what we resist persists. In other words, fighting against something often makes it stronger. Think about it like this. Have you ever tried to force yourself to fall asleep? The harder you try, the more awake you feel, right? That's the law of non-resistance in action. When we push against something, we give it more energy and power over us. This law is super important because it shows us a different way to deal with problems. Instead of fighting against what we don't want, we can focus on flowing towards what we do want. It's like being in a river. It's much easier to go with the current than to swim against it. Here's a real-life example. Let's say you're stuck in traffic. Getting angry and resisting the situation only makes you feel worse. But if you can accept the situation and use the time productively, like listening to an audiobook, you're no longer resisting, and the experience becomes much more pleasant. So how can you use this law in your daily life? Start by noticing where you're pushing against things. Are you constantly complaining about your job, arguing with a family member? These might be areas where you're resisting what is. Instead of resisting, try accepting things as they are right now. This doesn't mean you can't work to change things. It just means you're not wasting energy fighting against the current reality. From this place of acceptance, you can then take positive steps towards what you want. Remember, non-resistance isn't about being passive. It's about choosing where to focus your energy. When you stop resisting what you don't want, you free up energy to create what you do want. Our eighth hidden spiritual law is the law of forgiveness. This law is all about letting go of the past and freeing yourself from negative emotions. It's one of the most powerful tools for personal growth and happiness. The law of forgiveness says that to create a new future, we must release the past. When we hold on to grudges or resentment, we're actually tying ourselves to the very things we want to move away from. It's like trying to walk forward while constantly looking backward. You're bound to trip and fall. This law is crucial because it shows us that forgiveness isn't just about being nice to others. It's about freeing ourselves. When we forgive, we're not saying that what happened was okay. 
we're saying that we're no longer willing to carry the burden of anger or hurt. Here's a simple example. Maybe a friend said something that hurt your feelings. Holding on to that hurt only makes you feel bad and might damage your friendship. But if you can forgive them, even if they don't apologize, you free yourself from that negative energy and open the door to healing the relationship. So how can you apply the law of forgiveness in your life? Start by identifying areas where you're holding on to resentment or anger. It could be towards others, towards yourself, or even towards life circumstances. Then, make a conscious decision to forgive. This doesn't happen overnight. It's a process. You might need to forgive the same thing many times before it fully releases. But each time you choose forgiveness, you're freeing yourself a little more. Remember, forgiveness is a gift you give yourself. It's not about condoning bad behavior or forgetting what happened. It's about choosing to release the negative energy so you can move forward in your life. Our ninth hidden spiritual law is the law of sacrifice. Now don't let the word sacrifice scare you. This law is actually about making room for new and better things in your life. The law of sacrifice tells us that to receive something new, we often need to let go of something old. It's like cleaning out your closet to make room for new clothes. Sometimes we need to give up lower pleasures to gain higher ones. This law is important because it reminds us that growth often requires change, and change can be uncomfortable. But by being willing to let go of what no longer serves us, we open ourselves up to new opportunities and experiences. Here's a real-life example. Maybe you want to start a new business, but you're working a full-time job. To pursue your dream, you might need to sacrifice some of your free time or even the security of your current job. It's not easy, but it's necessary for your growth and success. So how can you use the law of sacrifice in your life? Start by identifying what you truly want. Then, look at what you might need to give up to achieve it. Remember, sacrifice doesn't always mean giving up something bad. Sometimes it means giving up something good for something even better. Be willing to let go of old habits, beliefs, or situations that are holding you back. It might be uncomfortable at first, but remember that you're making room for something amazing. Also, keep in mind that sacrifice doesn't mean suffering. When you're sacrificing for something you truly want, it often feels more like an investment than a loss. As we explore these final three laws, non-resistance, forgiveness, and sacrifice, we can see how they work together to create a powerful force for personal growth and transformation. The law of non-resistance teaches us to stop fighting against what we don't want and instead flow towards what we do want. This creates a sense of ease and alignment in our lives. But to truly let go of resistance, we often need to forgive. And that's where the law of forgiveness comes in. Forgiveness allows us to release the past and free ourselves from negative emotions that keep us stuck. It's like clearing the slate so we can write a new story for our lives. But writing that new story often requires us to make changes, which is where the law of sacrifice comes into play. By being willing to let go of what no longer serves us, we create space for new growth and opportunities. It's like pruning a plant. By cutting away the old branches, we allow new, healthier growth to flourish. Think about it like this. Let's say you're in a job you don't like. The law of non-resistance would encourage you to stop complaining about your job and instead 
Focus on what kind of work you'd love to do. The law of forgiveness might come into play if you need to forgive a boss, co-worker, or even yourself for past mistakes or missed opportunities. And the law of sacrifice might require you to give up the security of your current job or invest time and money in new training to pursue your dream career. When we understand how these laws work together, we can use them to create powerful positive changes in our lives. Here are some practical ways to apply these laws. Practice acceptance. When you find yourself resisting a situation, try to accept it as it is. This doesn't mean you can't work to change it, but acceptance is the first step. Choose forgiveness. Make forgiveness a daily practice. Start with small things and work your way up to bigger hurts. Identify what you're willing to sacrifice. What are you holding on to that's keeping you from what you really want? Be willing to let it go. Focus on growth. See challenges as opportunities for growth rather than obstacles to overcome. Trust the process. Remember that these laws are always working even when we can't see the results right away. Practice gratitude. Being thankful for what you have makes it easier to let go of what you don't need. Stay open to new possibilities. When you let go of resistance, forgive, and make sacrifices, you open yourself up to amazing new opportunities. As you start to work with these spiritual laws more intentionally, you might notice some profound changes in your life. You might find that you're more at peace with your circumstances, even as you work to improve them. You might feel a sense of lightness as you release old grudges and resentments, and you might discover a new sense of excitement as you make room for new experiences and opportunities in your life. But perhaps the biggest change will be in how you approach challenges and growth. When you understand these laws, you start to see that every obstacle is an opportunity for growth, every hurt is a chance to practice forgiveness, and every sacrifice is an investment in your future. This realization can be both liberating and a little daunting. It's liberating because it means you have the power to transform your life no matter what your current circumstances are. But it can also feel daunting because it requires us to take responsibility for our growth and to be willing to step out of our comfort zones. But here's the thing, you don't have to do it all at once. These laws are always working whether we're conscious of them or not. Your job is simply to become more aware of them and to align yourself with them as best you can, one step at a time. Think of it like you're learning a new dance. At first, you might feel awkward and unsure. But as you practice and become more familiar with the steps, you'll find yourself moving more gracefully and joyfully through life. As we wrap up our exploration of these 12 hidden spiritual laws, Take a moment to reflect on how they might be showing up in your life right now. Where can you practice non-resistance? What do you need to forgive? What are you willing to sacrifice for your growth? Remember, understanding these laws is just the beginning. The real power comes from applying them in your everyday life. It might take some practice, and you might not get it perfect right away but that's okay. Every time you make an effort to align with these laws, you're creating positive change in your life and in the world around you. So as you go about your day, keep these laws in mind. Look for ways to flow with life rather than against it, to forgive and release the past, and to make room for new growth and opportunities. 
You might be surprised at how quickly things start to shift when you're working in harmony with the hidden laws of the universe. You are more powerful than you know. You have the ability to shape your reality through your thoughts, feelings, and actions. You can release the past and create a new future. And you have the courage to let go of what no longer serves you to make room for something better. So go out there and start consciously co-creating the life you've always dreamed of. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. The universe is your partner, supporting you every step of the way. Trust in these laws, trust in yourself, and watch as your life transforms in beautiful and unexpected ways. Thank you for joining me on this journey of discovery. May these hidden spiritual laws guide you towards a life of greater joy, peace, and fulfillment. Remember, the power to change your life is always within you. It's time to unlock that power and step into the amazing life you were meant to live. The universe is waiting for you. Are you ready to dance?